you have seen or heard that you can produce your own diesel fuel from waste oil. And it's true, you can produce black diesel for as little as 10 or 20 cents per gallon. If you have 2005 or older diesel trucks or equipment, this is the video for you. My name is Michael and I'm going to spend a day showing the different types of trucks and equipment you can run black diesel through. I'm going to show you how to find and collect free oil, how to purify it, and finally, how to mix it so it's right for your equipment to run on. What is black diesel? Simply put, black diesel is waste oil used as diesel fuel in older diesel engines. Black diesel is going to be produced from motor oil, automatic transmission fluid, hydraulic oil, and even transformer oil. Pretty much any type of synthetic or conventional oil can be used to produce black diesel. Now the one thing we want to stay away from is gear oil just because it's so nasty and the viscosity is so thick, but we'll talk about that later. Like I mentioned earlier, black diesel can be ran through 2005 and older diesel trucks and equipment. Typically it's going to be ran through a mechanical or early common rail style diesel engine. Let's go take a look at some trucks right now. Here is my 1993 F-250 with a 7.3 IDI. Single cab manual 4x4. I love this truck. Let's pop the hood on it. Most mechanical diesel engines are going to be 1995 and older. They're going to have a mechanical injection pump, which I'll show you right now. So this is my mechanical diesel engine. As we can see, I took off the air cover so it's easier to see what's going on. And this is a non-turbo model. Over here to the side, we have a fuel line running to the engine. This is coming from a low pressure fuel pump right below the fuel tank. And typically it's going to be between 5 and 9 PSI. It's going to run through this gauge to our injection pump. Now, these injection pumps, you're going to have two styles depending on your engine manufacturer. Uh, you're going to have a rotary injection pump, which this one is. Or you're going to have an inline injection pump, which is popular with the Cummins or older international diesel engines. So you can see this rotary injection pump has hard lines, which run to each individual injector. So as this, as this engine is running, this timed injection pump is going to send fuel according to the sequence of the engine to each individual injector. What's great about these old diesel engines that are mechanical is that the exhaust pipe has no sensors in it. There's going to be no O2 sensor or sensor before or after a cat or a DEF or particulate system. This is literally a straight pipe aside from a muffler. As we see, we have this exhaust pipe with no sensors or DEF particulate filters or any of this new emission stuff that these trucks have. We just have an exhaust pipe running into a muffler to keep the noise down and out it goes. It's extremely simple and you don't have to worry about your computer or check engine light flashing on you on your dashboard. So some popular mechanical engines that run on black diesel and pretty much all mechanical diesel engines can run on black diesel. But the popular ones are your 7.3 and 6.9 Ford IDIs, your 6.2 IDI, which is a Chevy, your 12-valve Cummins engines, your DT360 and DT466 diesel engines, which are international, uh, Kubotas, Yanmars, Caterpillars, Perkins. These are all mechanical diesel engines that can run on black diesel. Now, the reason these engines do so well on it is because these have low-pressure fuel systems. Your fuel pump from your tank is going to be generally around 7 PSI, pushing that fuel to that injection pump. And then the injection pump is strong and robust enough to send this oil to each individual injector. Now these newer trucks, which we'll look at later today, they have high pressure fuel systems, generally in the range of 20,000 PSI, and they just can't handle waste oil. American diesel this, these days is so thin and watered down you could say it's just not the same as the old fuel from this era of vehicles right here we have a bullnose ford and we're swapping a 7.3 idi turbo into this truck it's pretty much the exact same engine i believe the block is a little different so we can see we have this turbo mounted onto this air intake and we have a mechanical injection pump it's the exact same as the one i showed you earlier and we have these hard lines running to these injectors now with these turbo engines, these injection pumps are going to be turned up quite a bit so that that fuel to air ratio is correct for that engine. Right here we have a Komatsu Dozer. It's a mechanical engine and this is something else we can run black diesel through. 
we pull up this cover right here. If we look down in there, that is our injection pump. If we can see, that is an inline injection pump. And we have these hard lines running fuels to the individual injectors. So we'll talk a little bit later in this video series about fuel mixtures. But this Komatsu, the fuel tank is right in front of the driver's seat. And there's no fuel pump pushing fuel to that injection pump. So a diesel engine such as this one would prefer a thinner viscosity diesel fuel, uh, probably in the range of 20 to 30% rug to waste oil, which we'll talk about here later. Right here is a non-commercial dump truck with a DT series diesel engine. This is another perfect example. We have a inline injection pump sending fuel to each individual injectors. These DT engines are one of my favorite inline diesel engines. A uh, little well-known fact, but in the diesel hot rod community, uh, tractor pulls, truck pulls, things of that nature, these engines are one of the preferred engines because they have wet sleeves on the engines. People can crank out of a thousand horsepower out of one of these diesel engines. These John Deere excavators, or any excavator for that matter, can also run black diesel. Now it is important to note, waste motor oil, or black diesel in general, has 30% more BTUs than regular pump diesel. So just something to mind when running one of these pieces of equipment to watch the EGTs, and make sure it's not too hot when you have it at high RPM for long periods of time. This right here is a diesel Kubota. We're going to pop the hood on it. Pull this little lever down here. And we can see on this engine, it's an inline four cylinder. We have an injection pump. It's in line with hard lines. So this is another engine we can run black diesel through. And again, an engine like this is probably gonna prefer a thinner viscosity fuel that is more diluted. Now we took a look at quite a few different types of mechanical diesel engines. Now what about the early common rails? So your early common rail engines are going to be from 1995 to 2005. Now the majority of these diesel engines can run black diesel. The question is, what fuel mixture? So we need to look at two different things. The high pressure fuel pump and whether it has an emission system. The high pressure fuel pump on these engines is what pressurizes the fuel and sends it to the injectors. Typically, a mechanical fuel pump pulls the fuel from the tank to the engine. Now, depending on the manufacturer, that pump may or may not be delicate. Some engines, like your 7.3 Power Stroke, are extremely durable. You can run upwards of 80 or 90% straight oil in these engines. Other engines, such as the 24 valve Cummins, are a bit more delicate. The VP44, those pumps fail in regular pump diesel. It's not black diesel that's the problem, it's just that they're delicate pumps to begin with. The second thing we need to look at is the emission system. So if you have any sensors, DEF particulate filters, or things of that nature, you're not going to be able to run black diesel. Black diesel gets its name from its black color, which is the soot and carbon in that oil. That soot and carbon, it's going to clog up that particulate filter. If you have an EGR system, it may clog that up as well. So if that is something that is on your engine, you're either going to have to get rid of it or find a way to bypass it. An example of an engine that does not do well on black diesel is a 6.5 Duramax. It has an optical sensor which is prone for getting carbon buildup on it, causing the engine to not run as optimally as it should. Now that leads us to the second topic, newer trucks. Newer trucks cannot run on black diesel. There are just too many sensors and things that can go wrong. The high pressure fuel pumps on new trucks are made to run on modern diesel which is much thinner than the diesel that the trucks from this era used to run on. The second thing is the emission systems in those vehicles have so many sensors and death filters that it's just going to be too much of a headache. If you do do that, you're going to clog it up. So again, black diesel is going to be typically for equipment 2005 and older without an emission system. 
There's a couple of reasons we want to produce our own diesel fuel. Most of you probably have this reason in mind already. Producing black diesel really does cost as little as 10 cents per gallon. Depending on where you live at, diesel fuel can cost between three and six dollars per gallon in the US, though that seems to fluctuate around politics season. If you're in other countries, you can be paying upwards of two dollars per liter, which is eight dollars per gallon US equivalent. While you can be saving multiple dollars per gallon, which can be hundreds or thousands of dollars per month, I think there's a more important reason to produce your own fuel. Whether you have a farm, a homestead, or live in the suburbs, producing black diesel is more than just saving money. It's about self-sufficiency. For many of you, it's going to be peace of mind. But for some of you, having diesel fuel means survival. It gives you transportation when fuel is not available. When the lights go out, black diesel will power that diesel generator. When you don't have fuel for that oil burner, black diesel will keep you warm during the winter time. Black diesel allows you to be both self-sufficient, prepared, and it lets you save money. We've talked a lot and looked at the different types of engines and equipment you can run black diesel through. The only thing we can do now is get started. So I'm gonna head to my shop. I'm gonna show you different types of pumps we use to collect and transfer waste oil. And then I'm gonna show you the hygiene practices we use to prevent spills and drips while transferring that oil. If you're finding this video helpful, take a look at the link below. There's a Facebook group with over 13,000 members, and you can see those people running black diesel through their equipment. I'll see you in the next video.